What's up guys? We're here on a Friday with the source Tim Anderson. We got lots to talk about. Like, yeah, we made new highs. Are they sustainable? What are we watching for next week? Tim, what you got? Talk to me, Goose. You know, I think that with the uh, Dow, NASDAQ Composite, and S&P all posting fresh closing all-time highs anywhere from the last couple days of October to the first couple days of November, it's just worth taking a breath and looking at where they are now about a week, week and a half later, not get focused on every daily little move up or little move down, but let's see if these averages can sustain these new highs and potentially build a base for what might be a new leg higher on this 10 year young bull market. Oh, now, 10 I. 10 year young. 10 year I mean, young. Because the bull market has some gray hair here, you know? Like, yes, it does. <laughs> and uh, let's just keep in mind that bull markets don't die of old age and economic expansions don't die of old age. Okay, so what are they they die, die of, uh, you know, financial chaos, they die of. Uh, the Fed making some policy moves, they die of international turmoil maybe, but right now we're not really looking at any of that. Even a year ago, the Fed was in this tightening mode and they were also doing qualitative uh, tightening. We just had three interest rate cuts. The Fed is not uh, doing QT. Some people think what their, their repro program is QE. It's not really, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, but I would really like to see the Russell 2000 close above the 1600 level. It's only closed above that level twice in the last uh, 13 months. And I would like to see the transport rally continue. It's only 400 points from a new high, which would have been set like a year and a half ago. And 400 points for the transport average. It's a very volatile average. It could be there you know, in three or four days. In three or four days. Okay, and that will help support this leg higher that you are expecting. So next week, Tim, what are you focusing on? Well, I think we just need to continue to focus on some of the key economic data that's going to come out next week. We'll have some regional Fed reports and we'll have probably a number of uh, Federal Reserve high-ranking officials speak coming out of their quiet period from the Fed meeting a week and a half ago. And you will get the market, uh, give the market an opportunity to largely trade on its own with earnings, third quarter earnings being pretty much out of the way and looking at uh, the end of this year will be about six weeks away.